the science guy. So we all know about our solar system. Nine planets and their moons, the thousands of asteroids, and most comets move around the sun. And how there's eight planets. Eight planets. Eight planets. Eight planets. And Pluto! When did Pluto stop being a planet? A few months ago. That is our sun! This is our giant football field sun of science! So, if this football field is our sun, then this is the Earth. And this is Pluto! And way, way, way out there, past the bad boy, is the Oort Cloud! The Oort Cloud! The Oort Cloud! The Oort Cloud! Snowball! Dirt! Snowball! Dirt! Snowball! So where do these dirty snowballs come from? Well, back when the universe was being blended together, there was dirt, and gas, and water, and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna throw all these things in the giant blender of science! Science rules! But, there were some leftover pieces! These leftover pieces formed meteorites, asteroids, and comets! Or dirty snowballs. The comets were formed from dust, and gas, and water, which turned into ice. Yo, man, let's get out of here. Word to your mother. Some comets, the ones we see more often, they have shorter orbits. And they're called short period comets. And they come from the Kuiper belt. So, the long period comets come from like way, way, way out there. Remember? Past the bad boy? Consider the following. This is the sun. This is also the sun. Right around it, right out here, we've got our solar system. And then around it, we've got this thing we call the Oort Cloud. Right here. Steph, why do you have a diagram of an Oort Cloud on the mirror? Because, Lauren, science rules! Ice cream? Again? I need a new icy treat. Something that lasts longer too. 
you know, like 700 orbits around the sun. Wow. Is that too much to ask? What you need is a new cloud comet, guaranteed to be out of this world. Not recommended for use within three astronomical units of the sun. <laughs>